welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, the owner and designer behind That Clay Girl Co., a handmade clay accessories brand. I have not done a vlog in a while and I have really been wanting to get back into things, so I thought the perfect idea would be showing you guys how I launch my collections because I do have one coming soon. I just wanted to show you guys behind the scenes of what it takes from sketching out ideas, uh, creating a logo because I do like to like brand each collection because I do have a degree in graphic design and then actually creating the collection, social media posts, photographing, and then of course the best thing, launch day. So I am actually wearing the first pair that I designed for this collection and I just wanted to show you guys just the behind the scenes of how it all works and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's go! So the first thing I like to do when I am thinking of a new collection is I hop on to Procreate with my Apple Pencil and I'll just get right to sketching. Um, sometimes I'll have um, ideas sketched out on pen and paper of ideas that I just thought of on the spot and wanted to make sure that I got them sketched out. But most of the time I'll just hop on to Procreate and just start sketching out ideas. Um, and use inspiration that I have. Um, for this specific collection, I believe I was inspired by um, SE Nail Polish. The colors were just that I grabbed that called out to me were kind of like a 70s vibe. So for this collection, I used that as inspiration. I'll insert a picture here, but I did uh, brighten up the colors for summer. So before I show you these sketches, I'll show you how I go about sketching. So here's a rough idea of how I get started. I will create a new canvas but I've already got one set up here. And then depending on if I have an idea, I'll just sketch it out. But for um, this, I will show you guys how I go about um, using the cutters that I've purchased. So I will insert a screenshot of the cutters. These are from Rose Ox. And I knew I wanted these little cutters to create a dangle style. So what I'll do is create a new layer and I will trace each little shape. That way I can get an idea of what colors I want to use and the order of shapes I want to do. So once I have them all traced, it will look something like this. And then this right here is the gold lever back that I would use and I'm really loving um, this new style and I actually did a poll on my Instagram and you guys are loving it also. So um, what I'll do is I'll duplicate that layer and we've got our first style. So now going back to my sketches, this was the first grouping I came up with. Um, a lot has changed since, but what I did want to show is that I like to come up with a little flat design here and show how the earring would look like on, just to get a rough idea of how that would look. And then this is actually the final collection. Um, I've got the name up here, which you can see, Summer Days, and different color combinations. I'm actually going to um, have a little drop down menu where you can choose the top and bottom color and I think I'll add pearl in there too which is what this color on the top of this pair is. Um, this is a wall hanging. I'm hoping that works out but um, the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, coming up with a name for your collection and a logo if you're into that so let's go right in. sketched out our collection. I'm going to name the collection if I haven't already and create the logo for my collection. So I like to use Illustrator. I'll go in and create a new document. Uh, the first thing I do is I will place the sketch of my collection. So I have inspiration. So we'll bring that over to the side. And next I will create some color swatches for all the colors that are in my collection. So we've got five colors. So for the sake of the video, I will just select it with my eyedropper, but later I will get the exact color code for each color. And for the pearl, it looks more like a grayish color, but obviously in, when it's made of clay, it's a pearl shimmery color. So these are the colors we are working with. And again, for uh, the video sake, I already have an idea of the font I would like to use. Um, it's called Blanche. 
has a nice little groovy um, vibe to it, 70s vibe, and I like the right alignment. And it may, let's see, this will probably, go, days may go over a little bit for the sun, so we'll see how that turns out, but I'll create outlines and then ungroup it. Then I'll bring this up to about where I want it. So for now that looks all right. And let's see, now we are going to um, create the sun. So for this, I'm just gonna do a little time lapse of how I come up with that. So after a lot of work and just um, messing around with different options, I have come up with this. So I've got all my colors from the collection. I use the orange and pink for the sun and the blue and green for the text. So I think I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, may fiddle with it a little bit, but I will be sure to show you the final product. So we've got the logo and the color swatches. So that is how I come up with my collection logo. Before I get into creating the collection, I wanted to show you guys the color palette for this collection and the names. So we've got Pearl, Peach Bellini, Matcha, Seaside, and Marigold. this style already made for my latest market so we've got the this style in the posts regular posts and then this style in this cool little um, lever back that kind of mirrors the shape of this style so that's why I didn't film me actually making this because they were already pre-made I did end up changing my wall hanging design and this is what I came up with. And the final product will have a bead and a suede string at the top. So I'm liking how this came out and I think it goes good with the rest of the collection. One of my favorite things about launching collections is the product photography. I love picking out my props and designing the photo shoot. So I usually use these wood shapes that I painted in my brand colors. I'll use um, fans, 
uh, fabric that I get usually from Hobby Lobby, any kind of bowls or plants that match the vibe, but it's really just a lot of fun for me to kind of just jump in and see how it kind of organically turns out, especially when I'm laying out all of the different styles. So um, product photography is probably my favorite part of the process. After I've taken all of my product photos, I go in the Teza app and edit all my pictures so they look nice and cohesive. Um, I'll show you how I go about doing that. You have all these filters to choose from and then you have these other settings here where I like to play around with brightness, uh, saturation, and add a little bit of grain for texture. And then I'll save those and they're ready to upload and list on Etsy. Now that I've got all of my pictures edited, I will go into my Etsy shop and create new listings. For the sake of the video, I went ahead and did all of the listings. So I'll show you. So for these pair, for the dangle pair, I added all my photos, added a video showing the whole collection. We named it. We put in some details and then I have my whole description with materials, what's included, uh, packaging, and then we've got tags, the materials, price, quantity, and I have started doing SKUs, which I really love because it actually helps me out for wholesale as well. And then you'll pick your shipping and you'll put in your item weight and the item size when packaged. And that's basically it. You'll save it. And now they're all ready to go for launch day, which for me is tomorrow. All right, now for social media. When you are launching a collection or a new product, you really wanna hype it up and get your followers interested and let them know about it as much as you can without giving away the whole collection. You wanna give those sneak peeks so they're intrigued to come back and check it out whenever it launches. So for this collection, um, I wasn't sure on my launch date, so um, I only had a few days before to kind of hype it up, but normally I would like at least a week or so in advance. So for my first post about it, I did post my logo to get people interested and see what's this going to be about. So I said, new collection coming very soon. And then yesterday I posted a picture of the pieces itself and the bowl, it doesn't give away too much, but it shows enough for people to want to come back and see when this collection launches. So um, in addition to posts, I also post stories. So here I finally gave the date and then a little countdown and you can tap to have your customers be reminded for when this collection launches so they don't miss it. And then when it comes to launch day, I will post the entire collection um, the pictures that I took and show how everything looks and we'll just hype it up all day posting individual pictures on my story of each uh, style and just get people um, to go check it out on my website so it's just fun way to um, you're just basically advertising your entire collection and you just want to get everybody to notice it I'll probably do some reels and some TikToks because I am wanting to get into doing that as well so yeah, that's how I go about doing my social media. So launch day has come and gone, but now that I have all of my stories archived from my launch day, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys what exactly I do on the day of launch. So the night before, um, or when I knew my date for the launch, I set a reminder. And this way, um, people that follow me can have a reminder for when the launch actually happens. And then once that does happen, it goes off and makes the fun little confetti. And then after that, I showed the color palette for the collection and all the names for it. Went to coffee that day. And then let's take a closer look at the Summer Days collection. And I did a nice little collage. And now this is a closer look at each style from the collection with a nice little write-up. And then I said, and that's the Summer Days collection. Then that is my sister. She shared um, her wearing a pair when we did our photo shoot. 
and that was a reel I posted that day, and then another post from my sister. And then another post uh, with a poll asking if you've checked out the collection or if you're checking it out now. So that's what my story feed looks like on the day of launch. Um, I will continue to post about my collection every day with a new post, some stories. I will use content from my product photo shoot as well as um, content from a photo shoot my sister and I did in a sunflower field. So the promoting or the promoting does not stop once launch day is over. So as you can see, I've posted on launch day and then the next day of one of the styles on. So just keep posting about it and the more you do, the more people will see it. Now on launch day, I will create the banners for my Etsy shop and my actual website. So we've got this one and then we've got this one. So they're a little bit different in how I have to size them, but we'll go ahead and design those. So this is the final product of the covers that I came up with for my website and my Etsy shop. And it looks totally different from how the time lapse looked. Uh, as graphic designers, we change things constantly and have so many ideas, but just end up with something different at the end. So I just went with the photo of all the styles and it looked nice um, with my logo for my collection over it with a white border. So this is how those turned out. And that is how I create my collections. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Summer Days collection is now live on my website at thatclaygirlco.com. So I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!